Hey guys, positive thought, dude, moment for the day. So I was reading today on my iPad, because newspapers are for old people, that the there's a huge spike in student loan default rates. Freaking amazing. Who would actually default on one of those things? Well, oh, I'm sure if you're like me, you see the price of education today and think, Jesus Christ, thank you very much. I was born 10 years earlier than the kids today. Shit. I think my first semester, because I went to in-school, or in-state schools, because obviously I'm not rich and my parents didn't pay for anything, so it's like, well, there you go. That was $1,500 a semester when I started, right? That was when I started in 2000. Shit, today I looked at it, it's like five grand or some shit for the same thing for the same semester. Which kind of leads me to the point of, well, if people are defaulting on their student loans, are they new kids or old kids? But more importantly than that is that those loans are something that you decide to take and you chose to take and you do it. And you should have taken the loans understanding that you will have to pay that back at some point with interest. And I believe a lot of folks just think of these loans as like free money because they don't see the long-term picture. Positive thought people don't see it that way. We understand that loans or any of the money that leaves us is not really our money. It's other folks' money that they're allowing us to borrow because they believe we're good people. Obviously, otherwise they never loan the money. I'm not saying the government is saying that you're good people all the time, but, all right, but, mind yourself, if they didn't want you having the money, you ain't gonna get the money. So you must have done something okay to get the money. Now, student loans, if you don't know this, are a debt that you cannot clear with a bankruptcy procedure. Most other things you can clear up with a bankruptcy procedure. Say you declare bankruptcy, uh, you default on your house. Meh, okay, seven years, wait. Default on credit cards, yeah, you can talk down the rate, talk down the amount, talk down damn near anything you can. They just wanna get sure they get some of the money out of you because they know if you really, really bankrupt yourself, they ain't getting nothing. Obviously your credit score would be crap, but who cares about that? You don't owe anything. Sort of. But student loans are something you cannot get rid of, regardless of what legal decide, whatever you legally decide to do. That loophole was closed back in God, the early 90s sometime. I can't remember, but I'm not a lawyer. I'm an accountant. The point being is, as a positive thoughts person, your goal in life is not necessarily just to... You, you should be like... You're the type of person that sees this for what it is. It's you exchanging later years of your life for money now, so that way you can help push yourself forward. Those student loans were around to give folks like me, folks like a lot of my friends, a heads up. Because we didn't have families that would be able to just drop dough to pay for our college. It just wasn't like that. And these student loans like, acted as barriers and kind of like a, not barriers, but kind of like a little boost, right? A little boost to push us up so we could actually go to college, make something a little better of ourselves, earn more, and then contribute more to society. That's what these student loans are. So the folks that are defaulting on these loans makes you kind of wonder about stuff. Really? Okay. Uh, I mean, there's way too many variables to say what this and that is, but it's fairly certain to say that given the fact that most loans that come from student loans are hitting in the, what, 3% range? I mean, it's damn near even money to what inflation is. That It's kind of one of those things where it's like, what are you spending your money on other than just, uh, you know, your student loan payments? So, positive thoughts guy for the day. I want you all to think about that though. See, when you take money, it's not because you're just taking the dough, you're taking it because it's a part of your life that you're giving up, so that way you can enjoy a pleasure now, like a school, like a car, like a house, like whatever, and then pay it off using your life later. So, defaulting on student loans, fail.